Hey what's up guys welcome to customize the droid in today's video I'm going to show you how to install KitKat ROM on Sony Xperia Tipo I have been receiving many requests regarding the uh, uh, regarding the installation for the KitKat ROM for the Sony Xperia Tipo and I have been searching for a while for a stable ROM so here it is uh, today is a tutorial uh, wherein I'm going to show you how to install the KitKat ROM on Sony Xperia Tipo okay so the very first thing you need to uh, see to it that your phone meets the requirement the phone should be rooted and the CWM menu should be installed on your phone and the bootloader of your phone should be unlocked so right now my phone is running on the uh, stock android which came out of the box with the tipo that is uh, that is uh, that is the ice cream sandwich i'm just uh, i'll just show you once my phone about okay so this is the ics right now the my phone is running on the ics and my phone is rooted uh, the, the super user app is installed on my phone and the phone is rooted and i have also in uh, installed the cwm menu on my phone and the bootloader of my phone is also unlocked so once you meet the requirement you are ready to go so the very first thing you need to do is to download uh, download the files you can check in the description column below this video uh, there are three files which needs to be downloaded uh, so download all the three files and then place it and then place it on the sd card or the external memory card of your phone so once you have downloaded and kept the file uh, on your phone then you are ready to go so the very first thing you need to do is to enter into the recovery mode so i'll just enter into the recovery mode so just switch off my phone In order to get into the uh, CWM menu, uh, you know, you have to repeatedly uh, press the volume down key to get into the menu. Once you see the Sony logo, repeatedly press the volume down key to get into the CWM menu. Okay, so here it is. We are into the CWM menu. So the very first thing I will advise you is to take the backup of the ROM which you, which is currently running on your phone. So in order to take take a backup. Uh, Okay, uh, first I will show you the navigation button. In order to go up, press the volume plus key and in, in order to go down, press the volume down key. In order to select, you need to press the power button. Uh, so, first go to the backup and restore. And here you can backup your ROM to the external SD card. Or you can, if you just select a backup, it will get backed up into the internal memory card of your phone. Uh, and if you if you wish to back up to the external SD card, so you can also do that. So once you have done, uh, once you have kept the backup, in case anything goes wrong while installation, so this back this backup will uh, really help you. So once you have done, once you once you have backed up the ROM which we are currently running, so now let's begin the process. So the very first thing you need to do is to go and select the menu. Select wipe. You can see this option, the above option, wipe data factory reset. Select the wipe data factory reset, and then select yes. Wait for the process to complete. It will take a while. Okay. Once it is done, then you need to uh, select the uh, option which was uh, uh, below, which is below the one which you have selected. That is wipe cache partition. You can see the option. Okay, select the wipe cache partition and then select yes, select wipe. It will wipe the data and then you need to go to the advanced option. And here you will see the wipe dalvik cache. So select that and then select yes. Okay, so once it is done, once uh, all this uh, all this step is been followed properly uh, accordingly, so again go to the main menu this is the main menu i have kept the uh, installation file in the external sd card so you can see the second option in install zip from sd card click on install zip from sd card uh, uh, if you have kept the uh, files in the uh, in the phone memory then you have to select choose zip from sd card or if you have kept the uh, files in the external sd card then you need to select this choose zip from external external sd card and then navigate to the file where you have kept it 
okay here it is so you have three files over here uh, uh, which you have uh, downloaded and have kept it so the very first uh, file uh, which you are going to flash is the uh, white rom expira tipo you can see the file name white rom expira tipo so you need to f you need to flash this file first uh, select that uh, select that file and then select yes this will take uh, take a while as it will uh, flash the rom uh, it is basically the white rom which is called the kitkat uh, uh, which has been made the kitkat rom for the sony xperia tipo so it will take a while for the installation just wait for wait for the installation to complete just keep some patience it is flashing the file and it is done once it is done you need to reboot your phone once a you need to reboot your phone once so just go back and then select reboot system now just go back and then select reboot system now and then reboot your phone so, uh, select go back and then uh, select yes fix root click on this option don't forget this option and wait for your phone to reboot you will see a new animation uh, uh, for this rom you can see this is a new animation for this rom uh, this rom which is installed right now is 4.3 just wait for the boot to complete and then set up the phone once that's it okay i am on uh, i have finished the setup and i am on the rom now uh the first uh, the first file which we have flashed so this is basically the 4.3 allow this is basically the 4.3 rom jelly bean i'll just show you uh, go to the settings uh, about this is now basically the 4.3 rom which is the jelly bean you can see 4.3 so once your phone is booted completely again you need to switch off your phone switch off your phone Sorry, I'll just go to directly into the recovery menu. There's an option. Uh, there's a whole new animation. Okay, so now when we are in recovery mode again, so you need to follow the same process again. Uh, this time you do not have to format anything. Do not have to wipe anything. Just install the zip file. Click on select the option install zip from SD card. Choose from external SD card. Navigate to the folder where you have kept it. This time flash the uh, white ROM update v2 zip. So this time we need to flash this file. Click on yes and this will take a while uh, just like the previous one. So just wait for the installation to complete and then you are ready to go with the 4.4 KitKat on your Sony Xperia Tipo. Okay, so now it is done. Uh, so once the file is flashed properly, again go back and then uh, reboot to the system. Click on reboot system now, uh, then select go back and then you then wait for the phone to boot completely uh, i'll just quickly set up and then come back to you wait you will see this option like android up upgrading android is upgrading so it will yeah. your rom will upgrade just wait for the process to complete Okay, so now, so now I am into the ROM. This you can see the very new lock screen, which is different from our stock Android, which was there with the Tipo, which came out of the box. Uh, this is the Xperia new lock screen. So you just uh, swipe up for the uh, phone to unlock. So now you are on KitKat ROM. So I'll just show you that it is a KitKat ROM. Just go to the setting. wait for the phone to boot properly about phone 
you can see the model number you can see the model number of your phone and the android version which is installed currently on your phone so while using the while using this rom you will see some of the new animation which you have not seen earlier so this is now you are on 4.4 that is the kitkat rom you can see it is 4.4.4.4 kitkat rom So this is one of the stable ROM which I have found till now, and it is been and it's working very properly. There are only two bugs: uh, the calendar app and the Walkman, uh, and not the Walkman app. Sorry, the calendar app and the Quick Quick Pick app. For the same, as you have flashed the two files, the two zip files, you need to flash the third uh, third file which you have downloaded in a similar way. Switch off your phone, enter into the recovery mode, and then flash that file. and it will be done even 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 if it is not done even if the bug is not fixed yet then what you can uh, uh, no need to worry or uh, you just have to uh, sign in into your account on your phone and then uh, you just have to go to the play store and update the quick pick app which is there once the app is updated uh, then the bug uh, uh, then then it is fixed the quick quick pick bug will be fixed and everything will work fine so Here it is the KitKat ROM. So guys, enjoy this ROM. Uh, if if there is any issue, do let me know in the comment column below. So guys, that's it for now in customize this ROM. In case if you guys have any queries regarding this, any any comments, feel free to leave in the comment column below. You can comment in the comment column below for the same. And do hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, and do and don't forget to subscribe for my channel for further updated videos. Till then bye guys and enjoy customizing your phone